So this time it's been a, a pleasure to invite the uh, Inter-Agency Standing Committee's Operational Policy and Advocacy Group to the new humanitarian hub here in Geneva. The hub is a, an initiative from us in the NRC, bringing together 10 humanitarian organizations in a, a, a common, joint, communal uh, working environment uh, to foster collaboration and to foster better um, way of working together as, as humanitarians. And what a great place to be having the conversations that we're having today at the, the OPAD. We've been tackling some of the most persistent and difficult challenges that the humanitarian community faces. How do we ensure the centrality of protection and how do we provide accountability to beneficiaries, those most important people who are at the center of everything that we do. And in the discussions that we've been having, what has inspired me is that they are very people-centered, they are very field-focused, and we're looking not just at guidance to, that ensures that our work is relevant on the ground to those communities that we work with, but also at what support we need to provide to country teams, humanitarian country teams, that span the entire community to actually put those plans into action. And as we have done that today, I'm, I'm quite uh, happy and proud really about the, the tone, the passion, the, the frank discussions that we're having in the, uh, in the meetings, uh, perhaps uh, particularly brought forward by our colleagues from uh, national and local organizations and their voices that they're bringing to the table. Um, this time, we are now halfway through the last, or this two-year period of the OPAG mandate. Uh, we've taken concrete steps to sort of uh, go to a next level of making sure that the OPAG delivers uh, clear action, clear recommendations, uh, so that we can actually make a real difference for the people that are delivering uh, services to the people affected by crisis. And it's more important than ever in this time of global crisis, simply doing business as usual isn't good enough. We need to do better for the people we serve and in the kind of dialogue that we have and the spirit of cooperation that frames that dialogue, we have the opportunity to do better.